How's it going guys? Logan from the Knights of Horror here. Today is uh, a long-awaited day. Uh, as you could tell by the title of the video, I got my Friday the 13th box set in. It's still in the box. Haven't seen it yet. Um, I cut the edges so we could, uh, so I, you know, I'm not struggling in the video to open it, but thought we'd all look at it together. So I've been waiting for this one for, uh, I think I ordered it in July. So the day has finally come. Oh yeah. So I ordered this from Diabolic DVD. They sell just all kinds of cool, uh, they're, they're, a, they're, they're like a mom and pop kind of a uh, shop. They, uh, they sell screen factories and stuff like that, but they package their stuff very well and they have great prices. So check them out. Um, but man, it's, uh, it looks beautiful in person. Oh, check that out. That artwork is pretty dang awesome. But man, this thing is loaded. All right. So we'll, we'll go uh, an in-depth uh, little uh, unboxing for you. Uh, what's in this, all the goodies that this comes with. It's pretty sleek. It, it, it's very much like the uh, Halloween box set uh, that I have from Screen Factory. Uh, cross my fingers that we'll get a Nightmare on, on Elm Street box set just like this. Uh, Halloween and Nightmare on Elm Street are my two favorites. But I, I love me some Friday the 13th. All right. So let's uh, let's go through the movies here. Um, well, really quick, uh, the, the the features on this you get some new you get new 4K scans of the original film part two, uh, part three, including a new transfer of the 3D version and uh, part four. And I would say one through four are probably my uh, are my top favorites that and uh six are, are my favorites uh, but man this thing is awesome all right let's go let's go through it all right we got friday one here the original you know what For the longest time i i i this wasn't my favorite in the franchise i remember being younger and it's kind of like halloween three where halloween three didn't have michael myers in it so you didn't like it at first but i gave this a rewatch recently and it's a good movie you know rather because jason's you know not in it uh, you know, um, but it's a good movie. It's got it's got two discs. It comes with the uh, theatrical and the uncut version. And take a look at that. I, I like the clear cases too. It's a nice little touch, and it comes with a uh, reversible artwork, which is totally cool. Check that out. Totally awesome, man. All right, let's go to. Uh, Go to part two here. The original, uh, the original cover on part two. You got a new 4K scan of this one too, and all kinds of bonus features. A little inside of that. I'll show you the uh, the reversible artwork on that too. I, I, I dig that, but I think I like the original, the original poster a little bit. I remember seeing that. Uh, poster on the VHS tape when I was younger going into the video store not allowed to wasn't allowed to watch it but I was intrigued going down the horror section at my local VHS store and uh, I always saw part one and part two I always saw those covers part three I, I would say this is probably my favorite uh, of all of them I, I don't think it's the best but it's my personal favorite um, uh, mainly because it was the first one I had ever saw uh, you know, a lot of the times when I'm like, when I have my favorites in a franchise, I always go back to like what the experience was when I first saw it. And, uh, this one's special to me. Ooh, I love the, uh, I love the reversible artwork on this too. Check that out. Totally awesome. And, uh, cool. We get an actual 3D version of this too. And a new 4K transfer. I'm excited to pop that in. Probably pop that one in first. All right, and then I would say this is probably um, part four is probably my. I, I think it's the best one. I think it's the definitive Friday movie. I would say it's probably the best one. It's not my favorite. It's it's. I think it's probably my second favorite. Um, but I would definitely say it's the best Friday. I think it's a better movie than than part three. 
uh, but part three is still my favorite. Yeah, man, this comes with a new uh, new 4K scan as well. And some uh, reversible artwork. It's just the title of the movie in there. I think I'll keep that uh, cover the way it is. This is a pretty awesome looking box set. Again, part four. All right, going down. Part five, this one's kind of a guilty pleasure for me. Um, I know it's kind of dumb and a lot of people have a big gripe with this movie and if you haven't seen it I won't tell you why um, it's very cheesy but I love it I, I, I love this movie um, it's corny and it's kind of funny uh, some of the scenes in this but yeah it, it's a it's entertaining definitely like it better than some of the later movies okay Going down, part six. I like part six too. I, I feel like I like part six mainly because of the Alice Cooper song, uh, The Man Behind the Mask. I believe that's in the ending credits. I love me some Alice. But there's the cover for that. Super cool, man. Get some new uh, audio commentary on this uh, with some of the actors and some of the crew on this. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right. We're gonna go to part seven here, The New Blood. This one isn't, I, I, I know a lot of people actually really like this one. Um, I like the design of Jason on this. I think he's really cool looking, especially when his mask comes off. Um, kind of a zombie Jason is the inside artwork. Um, yeah, it, it, I mean, I, I just thought when I first saw this, I'm gonna have to give it a rewatch. When I first saw this, I couldn't get past that, how bad the acting was. And I know, like, let's be honest, a lot of the acting in this movie is, you know, you don't watch them for great performances. But um, I might have to give it another watch. I just really, I don't know. I didn't say, I, I wouldn't say I didn't like it upon first viewing. It just wasn't, I don't know. Um, I might have to give it a rewatch to see if I like it even more uh, than the next watch. But uh, here's a piece of turd. <laughs> That's a lot of people's least favorites in the franchise. Uh, and uh, that is uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, weird, stupid movie. Really terrible. Uh, I think I've only seen this once. I might have to give it another watch just because it's just, the idea is just so bonkers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's uh, cool looking. For, that's for sure. I, I always like the cover of this one, regardless of the movie sucking. All right. And uh, coming up here. We have uh, Jason Goes to Hell. I think I also saw this one once. I don't really remember too much of this movie. Um, I really don't remember too much of this movie at all. Um, I'm gonna have to give it another watch. I know it gets a lot of hate, um, but what's cool about this for like, you know, there's a niche audience for this that actually does like this movie. It comes with an unrated version as well as a theatrical version. Um, I don't know all the details, but I know there was some controversy uh, when it comes to this box set and this movie, because a lot of people were saying that it's missing a scene in the unrated version. So I don't know, I'll have to dive into that. I don't really know too much about the unrated version, but I might have to dive into that and uh, see for myself and see if I can tell if anything's missing, but it's got two discs, so one unrated and one theatrical. And then uh, the inside is the same thing. From what it looks like. No, it's just got a different back cover. But... If you, if you care about that different little back cover compared to that cover kind of cool okay now i would say this was probably my least favorite in the franchise uh and that is jason x pretty much aka jason goes to space um i think i saw this once maybe no i probably saw it one time i remember david cronenberg is in this movie for some weird reason of course Cronenberg, you know, he's done, he's done the fly scanners, you know, just all these great, uh, horror sci-fi movies. Uh, he, he acts in this, uh, I don't know. I don't remember what the reason was, but yeah, uh, nothing really special inside except uh, it's got a, here's the back cover and it's got a, another side of the back cover, uh, same, uh, same front cover, but yeah, uh, you get some new interviews with, uh, the producers in this and some of the actors. But yeah, I don't know. 
I, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch all of these regardless if I like them or not, just because I gotta get my money's worth out of this expensive freaking box set. Uh, guilty pleasure here. I I saw that I saw this a couple times when I was younger. I haven't seen it in recent years, so I'm gonna give it a rewatch to uh, see if I like it or hate it more. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Um, a lot of people wanted to like this movie, including myself, because you got two horror titans going, you know, head to head. Uh, pretty bad from what I remember, but I'm definitely going to give it another shot. I mean, it's got Robert Englund, and to me, you know, there's some bad Nightmare on Elm Street movies, but Robert Englund's just entertaining himself, so the movie could be terrible, and I could still be entertained by, by Robert. Um, with this one, I don't think there's really anything new in this. Um, I, it was something with licensing, but uh, you do get a cool cover that's reversible. That's cool. I'm not sure which one I'll do. I, I'm usually the kind of guy that likes to keep the covers if they come with it. If they come with the original, the, the original covers like that were on the VHS tapes, I'll usually keep that on. Uh, I'm just kind of old school like that. I, I, I love the original art. And then we got uh, the remake. And I actually did uh, recently watch the remake. Uh, I think I liked it just a little better upon recent viewing. Um, doesn't say I loved it or anything like that. I was entertained through the, through the whole thing. Um, I would say it's definitely better than the Elm Street remake from 2010, and uh, that's not really saying much. But uh, I don't believe there was anything new in this as well. It does come with um, the theatrical version and the extended uh, unrated cut, but I believe uh, that was that has already been out on the market for a while. Oh, and it's got a cool uh, reversible artwork as well, if you can check that out. and then the piece of resistance for collectors and uh for uh you know people who are you know film nerds and love the bonus features i, I always just geek out about bonus features and we got a whole bonus features uh case right here it's got its own case and i believe it's got two discs in it oh yeah that's awesome Two discs worth of bonus features on this thing. This is uh, this is where the money is right here. So I'll read I'll read off some of them. You get a new interview with composer Harry Manfredini. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, you get a new location feature. I always like new location stuff. I'm I, I'm I, I do that in my spare time in Cal Southern California. You know you get a lot of. You have a lot of horror movies that were shot in this area, so I'm always finding myself on my own for fun going out and looking at, you know, where things were shot. So I, I always have a lot of fun when those are on bonus features. Um, we got something called Return to Crystal Lake, uh, making of Friday the 13th. Uh, we get something called the, Fri the Friday the 13th Chronicles. We get something called Secrets Galore, Behind the Gore, featurette. Uh, we get a documentary, Slice and Dice, the slasher film forever. Another documentary called Scream Queens, Horror Heroines Exposed. We got something called Crystal Lake Victims Tell All, uh, Tales from the Cutting Room, for, uh, Friday Artifacts and Collectibles, and something called Jason Forever. And it's not listed on here, but I was excited to read some of the features that um, the Alice Cooper music video uh, Man Behind the Mask is on this, and it's a cheesy music video, but I love it. I was just glad that they included it. Uh, but that's that's it for the movies, and it comes with this uh, cool booklet here. Just like the Halloween box that came with, it comes with this cool little booklet. Um, this, you know, just facts uh, and cool pictures of behind the scenes of the films, and um, the people who put it together, Scream Factory, it's kind of their little homage to... The franchise and they put some love into this so it's pretty awesome man uh again this box here i'll take off this this side of the this little thing on the box here to kind of show you uh the whole piece of artwork here yeah, there's some gook on it i don't have to get that off on my own but so there's the front Side. I was wrong, it wasn't Gook, it was the moon. Oh, I'm a nerd. Uh, there's a side. Totally cool. I'm, I'm thrilled uh, with this release. I'm so happy with the perfect condition that's coming and uh, 
It's gonna have to find room. I don't know where I'm gonna put it on my shelf, but uh, I imagine I'll put it side by side with my Halloween box set. Hoping for that Elm Street box set, Scream Factory, and uh, maybe a Texas Chainsaw box set eventually. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can pick this up through Scream Factory's website. You can buy it through Diabolic, like I did. Um, and I believe even Best Buy is, uh, if you're lucky enough, you might find one on a shelf in Best Buy here and there. But uh, pick this up while you can, because that Halloween box set behind me up here is, uh, it's super out of print and uh, it's super expensive now. So if you want this thing, this is the cheapest you're gonna get it is right now, so don't wait. If you're a Friday the 13th fan, man, jump on it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and you subscribe. Catch you later.